Link aggregation is a generic term. We may also see this referred to as port trunking, network interface card bonding, NIC teaming, or something just called lag for link aggregation. And the same idea applies to any of these scenarios where we are taking multiple interfaces, plugging in all of those multiple interfaces to increase the amount of throughput that we can have between devices. We see this a lot on multiple 1 gig connections or even in data centers where we have multiple 10 gigabit Ethernet connections between devices. We can really send a lot of traffic over those links. And if you have data centers where you're moving a lot of traffic, you may need some higher bandwidth connections. and that 10 gig link aggregation is a perfect choice for that. Because you're aggregating these links together and putting up multiple connections between devices, you also have the benefit of redundancy, which means if you ever lose one of those link aggregated links, the other link is still there. And you can still send traffic over that connection. So one nice benefit of doing link aggregation is making sure that you're always going to have a connection that's plugged in between those two devices. As I mentioned, you very commonly see link aggregation in data center environment. And because it's so easy to set up and so easy to run, you can even have them in small to medium sized environments as well. So if you have a lot of bandwidth requirements or you're just looking to have more redundancy between these different devices, then link aggregation may be the type of connection you'd like to use. A key piece of link aggregation is that both devices on each side of that connection have to understand that they will be doing link aggregation or lag. There is a standard for link aggregation called 802.3 AD. And if you check your manufacturer's requirements, you'll see that there's a mention of link aggregation or 802.3 AD. Many devices are now able to communicate this way. And you might be using this on a single server so that you're able to get much more bandwidth out of the server. Or you may be plugging in different network infrastructure components, maybe connecting two switches to each other. And those two switches might use link aggregation. Whatever the requirement, you know that if you're using link aggregation, you're going to have a lot of bandwidth available and you're going to have redundant links between those devices.